Hello, my name is Ronnie Sebastian and I'm a faculty at IIT Bombay and in the semester July 2023, I will be offering a course on NPTEL called Points of Topology. Uh, this is primarily a course for uh, which most mathematics students see in their master's program, but some glimpses of it you may also see if you have, if you are from a strong undergraduate program. So now I want to briefly describe some of the things which we are going to do in this course. So we will begin this course by seeing the definition of a topological space and we will see various tools which allow us to construct new topological spaces from old ones. So this will provide us with lots of examples of topological spaces and we can test our theory on it. Uh, that's the first part of the course. Uh, in the second part of the course, uh, just the way in group theory, one of the things we do is define group homomorphisms that allows us to see how groups, they are related to each other, which in turn allows us to say more about one particular group. So in the same way, we can study one topological space by uh, seeing how it interacts with other topological spaces. And these interactions are the notion of a continuous map. So we will define continuous maps between different topological spaces and we will see various properties of uh, continuous maps. Uh, in the third part of this course, so we will talk about metric spaces and how a metric space uh, gives rise and how a metric on a set X gives rise to a topology. Metric spaces are a very important class of topological spaces and uh, in some sense our intuition in topology is comes from metric spaces. So we will see some more intuitive descriptions of the concepts we have learned in case of metric spaces, in the special case of metric spaces. Uh, once we have done this, uh, we will introduce topological properties like connectedness and compactness. Uh, an important collection of topological spaces that we will see would be the vector spaces Rn, uh, GLNR, the general linear, the general linear group, SLNR, the special linear group, uh, orthogonal matrices, special orthogonal matrices, unitary matrices, special unitary matrices, and we can ask for all these examples. You know, are they, are these topological spaces uh, connected? Are they path connected? Are they compact? So we will try to answer these questions. So that will be quite interesting. One of the interesting results we will prove in this course is that uh, the group SON is connected. So that will be quite nice. Uh, after that, we will talk a little bit about locally compact topological spaces and uh, one-point compactifications. Uh, then we will introduce the quotient topology, which is very important. The quotient topology allows us to construct more examples of uh, topological spaces. So using the quotient topology, we will, we will construct the Grassmannians and the projective spaces. And once again, for these, we can ask, uh, are these connected? Are these compact? Are these path connected? And uh, Finally, in the last part of this course, we will see what conditions on a topological space will ensure that the topology comes from a metric. So as I had mentioned before, metric spaces are a very important class of topological space. And so it's very natural to, it's a very natural question to ask like what topological spaces are actually metric spaces. The focus of this course is going to be uh, on how to use the results that we have learned as tools to study uh, the various examples of topological spaces, the various important examples of topological spaces that we see throughout this course. Thank you.